Well, joining us now is Gaurav Bhatti of the Samajwadi Party, Sudhanshu Trivedi, the spokesperson of the BJP, and Sankarshan Thakur, the roving editor of the Telegraph, here with us as well. Gaurav Bhatti, was this a fixed match between the SP and the BJP? Because it's curious, as Uma Bharti says, that Mulan Singh Yadav didn't, uh, you know, vociferously oppose this yatra, and uh, of course, he had that meeting that raised eyebrows. He met the VHP leadership. Nidhi, you don't vociferously oppose the yatra only by words. The action of the state government show that the state government did what was the right thing to do. And uh, the term fixed match, fixed match is being uh, used by a lot of political opponents, probably because they're insecure and they have their own ulterior motives to use this term. It has become very stale and has no meaning. Now, let us see things in the right perspective that if uh, there was a law and order issue and a certain party and an organization close to the BJP was trying to flare communal sentiments within the people of the state, then the state government acted promptly and in the right way to ensure that the law and order is maintained in the state. That decision also received an approval from the Honorable High Court. And after that, if you would see that the police did a great job in ensuring that no harsh measures are used, but still ensure that there is peace and harmony in the area. That, I think, was a commendable job done by the Why did Mulayam Singh Yadav meet the, the VHP leadership, which is something that your own party leader, Azam Khan, strongly criticized? He is the national president of Samajwadi Party and the chief minister. They are free to meet and to obtain the views of everybody. And if they met and they took the views of a particular sect, there is nothing wrong with that. Ultimately, it is the decision which counts and the right decision was taken by the Chief Minister of the State, Mr. Akhilesh Yadav. He was firm on his decision and it proved to be the right decision. So that's Nobody the can stop anybody from meeting. Yes, okay. You're any, saying any that person. he's free to meet anyone, no matter in, who they are. So, but Sudhanshu, in a democracy, in a, yes. in a democracy, it is healthy to meet people from all sex. Maybe they have a point. Maybe they have some grievances which they wanted to voice. Hearing their grievances okay. or but their let me, opinion let me ask is not Sudhanshu. wrong. Sudhanshu, is this an interesting way for the BJP to keep the Ram Temple issue alive? You're not doing it directly. You're not doing it overtly. It's not something that uh, all your leaders are mentioning in, in, a, in a very vociferous way. But, you know, you're doing it through your sister organizations, through groups like the VHP, through the Sangh Parivar, through Amit Shah's visit to the Ram Temple, uh, to, to Ayodhya, uh, praying for a Ram Temple. You know, is this a way to keep the issue alive quietly in, a, in an interesting way? I want to make it clear that as far as the election is concerned, Ram Temple is not an election or political issue for us. As we know that the political parties, as a religious organization, do not decide what happens in politics and what should happen in the parliaments. In the same manner, political parties are not having any local standard to decide what the religious activity should be there. So it was an independent decision of the VHP. And so BJP has nothing to do with that except for some thing which is ideologically converging on certain point. But I would like to give um, something on this issue of match fixing so called between SP and BSP. Yes. Whosoever is saying this is just looking on the one side of the uh, facet. If you look at the entire all over India, look at the language which has been used by JDU against BJP after this Bodh Gaya episode. After Kishtwar, the language used by uh, the National Conference and PDP against BJP. Even one and a half year back, what the language used by MIM in Hyderabad against BJP? Now, above all, the Congress party, just before the UP assembly election in 2012, they have not given a 4% reservation to the Muslims, despite knowing the fact this has this been already quashed by Andhra Pradesh High Court. Then, their leader like Digvijay Singh usually enjoys cri uh, criticizing the Hindu organizations. Then, their home minister on record uses the word Hindu terror which has been hailed by Hafiz Saeed. Then their Prime Minister so on record says, one minute, polarizing. let me complete. Sure. So my pretension is, this is not a fixed mass. This is an all India tournament for the championship of Muslim votes for which all parties from north to south and so-called pseudo-secular parties are in fierce competition how to create a fierce psychosis among the Muslims and garner maximum vote. It is BJP versus rest. It is not SP and BSP combined. Is if you look at the entire All India picture. Okay, Abhishek Singhvi, is this an All India tournament though where every party benefits from polarization in some form or the other? The SP would, the BJP would, the Congress would. So everyone's playing the whole cynical politics ahead of the polls. 
it's an all india tournament which the bjp has been creating for the bjp of the bjp by the bjp for the last 20 30 odd years ever since it exists in politics it's an all india tournament under which the rules are as follows rule number 1 we remember ram and god and hinduism and the principles of hinduism only around election time rule number 2 uh, we are prepared to strike afraid to wound because we don't have the courage of our convictions we will not say it but we will try to hint it by indirect hints rule number 3 we will use proxies which go by the so called name of parivar but are nothing but manifestations of the bjp rule number 4 of this tournament is interesting we will practice ultimate hypocrisy if by chance occasionally as we did in 1998 come into power we will actually immediately say that we are keeping on the back burner a ayodhya b article 370 3 c uniform civil code so when we have we are in power we keep it on the back burner when we are out of power near election time we we'll remember ram also and all the other hypocritical syndromes